Welcome to the Narrow Man and James Bill. Hope you're well. What an anti-climax. There's not one flake of snow out there. So, that's disappointing. I was rather hoping for that and I planned for it in so much as I, well, forever and a day I've been researching narrow boats and looking at basically every single element there is about narrow boats and boats in general. And I've done it for years. Um, and one of the things which I kind of struggled with to begin with was electrics. Um, and parts of it. So the setting out of the system, it's, it starts off to be quite complicated. There's, you know, if you were to look inside a boat, there's lots of panels and bits and there's cables everywhere. And certainly at the back of a boat, in, in the engine bay with the, uh, with the batteries, and if a, if, an, if, a, if a boat's got a, an electrics cupboard uh, or a fuse cupboard or anything like that, there's just a lot of stuff in there. Um, and it's taken me ages to kind of understand how it's all mapped out, what it all does. Obviously, an electrician or someone who really knows their stuff would would, would, would know it. Um, but I and many others don't. Um, and there are lots of videos, narrowboat videos, about the electrics on board. Um, and some of them are very good. The, they all have one thing in common though, which is a slight problem, is that they're all filmed in situ. Um, it all shows the system as it is, and, it, you know, and the camera kind of shows where it all is and stuff, which is, which is fine and how it works. But it's, um, I've never seen one where it's all just kind of laid out on a floor um, and all the component parts going from the batteries all the way to a light. Um, I've never seen that and I thought that would be quite useful. So once again, I've used one of the rooms over there to uh, lay it all out. Some of the stuff I'm going to be using on this boat, um, cables, um, some of the terminal connectors, uh, some of the fuses, and some of them I won't be. So some of the bits I've just used for this demonstration. Um, but I think it'd be quite useful. Um, so I hope you guys do too. And I've kind of put my caveat in there are loads of ways of doing it um this is just a way of doing it and this is not even the way i'm going to be doing it this is just shows as i said it just maps out one cable something another cable something another cable something and it just shows the, the full end of it the actual bits the isolator switch the fuses the distribution box you, you know there are loads of different varieties of each one and people have different ones all, all of them um so, but this just shows what it is you, you, you'll need. So obviously there are different size fuses, different size isolation switches, but this just shows that you would need a switch, a fuse or whatever it might be. Um, the other thing to note is obviously this is just a 12 volt system. So this doesn't show um, if you had an inverter on board, um, it doesn't show the cables and the pathway going to an inverter, um, but I will show solar. Uh, because obviously I'm so I'm having solar on board, um, and yeah, I'll show you how solar fits into it as well. So I said I hope this is useful, um, and this is just the way I'm doing it. Um, well, actually, uh, kind of. I'm mean, I'm even not. This is just this is just a way of doing it. But I found this to be quite handy. So let's start at the beginning with the batteries. This example has two batteries set up. Obviously, there's not physically batteries here, but these are the cables required for them. <coughs> the things to note, the positive, um, these are terminal connectors for the actual batteries, and there are slightly different ones between positives and negatives. And the way you can see there, just on the end there, it's got a P. I don't know if you can make that out, there you go, it's got a P. And the negatives have got an N, although that's even harder to make out. But basically that ring there only fits on a negative terminal of a battery. So two batteries, that's how they'd be linked up. If you had three or four, there are ways of chaining the batteries together to even the spread or the load uh, or the charge, which I'm not going to go into because there's no need on this video. This is just to explain the flow. 
So those are the two cables there attaching the batteries. Now you've got two batteries linked together. Great, now let's follow the positive cable. So from the positive terminal here of the battery, it runs through an isolation switch, which obviously that is clearly not an isolation switch, but for the sake of this example, it is. That's just an on off switch. This is a 10 mil cable. This one here linking the batteries, that's a 25. Obviously that takes a lot more current. This one here, 10 mil cable running to the isolation switch. And the isolation switch, then another 10 mil cable running to a fuse. So that's the, the kind of the second step. This fuse here is an important one. It's a vital one. Isolation switches, they're quite common. You see them on most setups. You don't often see that fuse there before the main distribution box. The reason why you put this fuse in here is because these cables here need to be fairly short near the batteries. The batteries here tend to be in the engine well, or they're certainly not in the saloon or in the cabin. So by definition, these cables here are fairly short. You want the fuse as close to the batteries as possible. Therefore, the reason why you have that fuse then is because this cable here running into the boat is going to be fairly long. And if there was any problem between in the circuit, between the distribution box, well, anywhere in the circuit really, you don't want that wire to go, you want that fuse to go, because this wire is going to be long. So from the fuse, the long cable comes into the boat and into a panel. This panel is a fused panel. There are many different ways of doing this. You can have the fuses separate. You don't have to have switches on them. This example and the one I'm going to be using on my boat are going to have switches on them because some switches you're going to want to isolate. So these switches here, and then one of those will come out of the side of that one. And then we'll have a switch in the middle of it and then the appliance at the end, whatever that might be. Might be a light, might be a whale gulper, might be a water pump. And the reason why I'm going to opt for switches on my panel, like this one here, so just simple on off switches, is because something like the water pump doesn't have a switch in the boat. You don't turn it on and off you know when you when you're using it but if you were to leave the boat for a weekend or something you may well want to turn the water pump off in which case you're going to want a switch for it and therefore that's why i'm going to be opting for a panel a switch panel basically which gives me that option the light for example so if this was a light coming off here this one would have a switch in it because i say turn the lights on and off so essentially the light may well have two switches. They'll have a, essentially a master switch. Now the negative side of the circuit, this is obviously the battery here, battery terminal. There's a 10 mil cable which comes off the battery terminal. This is a long cable because it has to come all the way into the boat. So it goes all the way through the boat to this terminal strip. And this terminal strip, as you'll see, has 10 terminals on it so it takes the main negative here and then it creates makes all of these negative so then you take one of these off here another 2.5 mil cable for whatever the circuit is or this particular example is a 2.5 comes down here joins the positive and there we go turn the switch on and the appliance is live and here is the bird's eye view of the setup. So once again, positives off the battery, into the isolation switch, into the fuse, and then the long one going into the boat, and it'll join there into the switch panel. 
and from the negatives from the battery terminal the long cable coming all the way into the boat onto the terminal strip where all of the internal services all come off and meet up with the positive after the switch now let's see how solar fits into that well very simply the negative cable here coming from the solar charger whatever model you've got but it will have it's going to have various things but it'll certainly have four things that you're definitely going to need two ins which are going to be from the solar panels positive and negative and two outs which go to the batteries positive and negative that's exactly how they are again if you had more batteries there is recommended setups for the wiring you'd want to spread the load across the batteries this on this setup here is only two batteries so that's how it would be so from the charger unit the positive goes into the positive and the ne negative goes into the negative and there's the full bird's eye view solar panels batteries negative into the boat positives through the various levels of protection and then into the boat and then to the appliance here so just showing you this in a bit more detail there's a few various ways of going about the putting a fuse in basically on the positive side of the boat once it's once the power is inside the boat um this is for me the preferred choice there is there's many options of of this which is basically an all-in-one panel uh, it's a switch panel a fused switch panel so it has the it takes the positive and then distributes it but also it has the fuses there for it as well and you can turn them on and off so these are the kind of things I like the one I'm going to put on my boat is going to have the thermal cutouts instead of a fuse that well it does have a fuse but instead of a a physical fuse you just push a button and it and it kind of sorts it out again um, but these ones here are pretty straightforward the only different only weird one about this this example is that it, this all the cables are in black um, which is a bit weird uh, because you, you tend to put these on the positive side of a circuit so you'd have thought that most of these cables well, these cables would all be um, red but anyway these are the fuses on on this side here um, you obviously put in whatever fuse you want they use these which are you know, kind of um, motoring or vehicle fuses so you can get them anywhere they're readily available so it's quite it's quite good you don't have to go to a Chandler's or anything and they're cheap as anything so there you go in there you choose whatever fuse you need for whatever appliance it is most of them are going to be three amp or five or ten um, and then it's just a two-way switch there on and off so it works well and as I said it's 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 perfect for things like whale gulpers and um or no certainly uh water pumps and things where you might not want them on all the time um and there's no other switch to turn them on and off either which way so um yeah those are really good the other way of doing it is and obviously I've got this on the negative side of the circuit you have one of these terminal bars which come in so on this one here is obviously taking the negative from the battery and all it's doing is distributing it so you screw in there you unscrew those and you put in whatever terminals they are so your lights and your water pump and your whale gulper and oven and all these kind of things they all go on there if you needed two you just link another one up to it so uh, and from the bottom there so you can have two side by side there should be enough there for all the circuits on most boats um, but if you wanted, you could have that on the positive side as well. So you could have two of those, and then all you'd require on the positive side is some fuses to go to go with it. Um, so you need kind of that's the advantage of something like this is it's kind of an all in one. Um, but yeah, that'd be the other way of doing it. And then for this last thing is it comes with some stickers. So uh, that's how helpful. 
the navigation lights, search lights, not exactly uh, useful. Anchor light, that's not useful either. Build blower, blimey. Windshield wiper, I'm pretty sure this is uh, designed for an American market. But anyway, that's the idea. So they get they, they stick on there, but I'm sure you can kind of make your own labels. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm opting for something like that. But as I said, loads of different options of something like of, of these types of panels. Um, but yeah, they're, they're all kind of pretty much do the same thing. So there we go. Well, so there we have it. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, I just found it very, in my mind, I just found it to be handy to see it all kind of laid out um, on a floor um, in one piece um, as a flow, basically. Um, anyway, hope you guys have too. Uh, until next time, look after yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye.